Hi guys! Welcome back. So for today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be reviewing the new Zodiac collection from Wet n Wild. This is what it looks like. I did get this sent to me in PR and honestly I did not expect it. I actually went to order this a few days ago when it first launched and it was sold out and I was so bummed and then I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. Even though I'm not really into Zodiac signs, like my Zodiac signs Aries and I know a little bit about it but I'm not super knowledgeable, I'm just excited that Wet n Wild has a new collection because I am obsessed with their collections. The Flights of Fancy one, which was the last one that they had, I love Love the products there, so I was really pumped about this. You get four highlighters in here, a loose highlighter, 12 lip glosses, and four eyeshadow palettes. This is exclusively sold at Walmart. I'm not exactly sure when this is launching. I will leave the details down below. I know that it is available online on their website, but as far as when it's going to be in stores, I don't have all the details, but again, just check the description box if you guys are interested. So I really hope you enjoy. We're going to be doing swatches, playing with makeup, so grab your snacks and let's get started. All right, so let's start off with the eyeshadow palettes. So there are four palettes in this collection. I did swatch these prior to filming this video and the formula is so buttery and creamy as always I've talked about it so many times but Wet n Wild has the best eyeshadow formula at the drugstore and for the price you can't beat it so the first eyeshadow palette that we have is the fire palette and this one is I think this is actually my palette for my sign but this is freaking bomb I am obsessed with it it has a bunch of warm tones in it you have your reds your oranges your gold and champagne shades and these are all shimmers so I would probably honestly pair these with like one of their other color icon eyeshadow palettes just because obviously the other ones have mattes and these have shimmers so for me these would be colors that I would use all over my lid just because I would never really use shimmers in the crease I think they're really nice little palettes to have if you want like a variety of shimmer shades kind of like all in one just because they do have sort of a bunch of them in one palette which I honestly really like I know it's not the most convenient thing just because if you dip your brush into one color maybe you might get a little bit of the other color but it's really not a huge deal just because if you are really precise you can get in and be more precise with one shade does that make sense? I hope it does. The next palette that we have is the Air palette. This one is like a baby Norvina. Obviously it's not the same exact dupe and thing as the Norvina palette from Anastasia but it reminds me so much of it just because of the tones in it. It's so beautiful. The purples in here are to die for. It kind of reminds me of like a holographic type of look and it is stunning. The next palette that we have is the Earth palette and this one honestly I think is going to be my favorite. I mean the tones in here are absolutely stunning like I can't even. Alright and last but not least we have the Water palette of course which is like some nice blues and silver tones. I can definitely see myself using these blues like on the lower lash line for a pop of color. So I do have my lids primed and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit okay so I'm gonna go into the rosé in the air I showed a palette from Wet n Wild I'm gonna take the transition color in here and I'm gonna apply that right in the crease Okay, I'm gonna go into the water palette actually first and I'm gonna use this brown right here And I'm gonna be applying that shade in the inner part of my lid and on the outer part as well I'm gonna maybe try to attempt to do a halo smoky eye today Since these are shimmers, I feel like they're gonna apply best with like a Like flat concealer brush probably not a synthetic brush like this one, but We're gonna make it work. Okay, yeah, this brush is not really picking up a lot of product. So I'm gonna move into a different type of brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this flat concealer brush from Sigma. Okay, jumping into the Earth palette, I'm actually going to take this yellow color right here, and I think I'm going to mix it a little bit with this like bronzy brown shade. I'm going to spray my brush, and I always like to spray my brush after I dip the brush into the shadow, and I'm going to just apply that right on the center. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's like a green, brown, gold. Like that's like the best way for me to describe it and I hope the camera is picking it up because it is stunning I feel like mixing the two colors is just like the perfect combo All right, so I only used a few shades and honestly, I'm really loving these eyeshadow pots I think if you want some really good shimmers as I mentioned earlier, I think these are gonna be perfect for you I know the packaging in here isn't the most like appealing like I know a lot of people will prefer 
just like single shadows as do I but honestly I don't think it's that bad because I mean they're separated pretty nicely so if you want to like get a specific shade it's not that difficult you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on some lashes I'm gonna finish up my face makeup and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the lower lash line inner corner highlight brow bone highlight and then we'll move into highlighters and glosses so I'll see you in one second. Alright guys, so I will leave the products that I used down below on the rest of my face if you are interested. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the eyes right now. You know I got to play with this fire palette. It has a bunch of warm tones in it, like these reds that I'm like obsessed with. So I am going to go ahead and use this color right in here, which is like a cranberry. And I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. And I'm using a definer brush, if you guys are curious, from Morphe. A lot of the brushes that I use are from Morphe because I have a lot of favorites from them. And this is the M432, and I like it because it's really good for, like, really pressing in eyeshadows on the lower lash line. All of these colors are, like, really, really buttery and pigmented. Then I'm going to take those same colors on a pencil brush, and this one's from Wet n Wild, actually. This is the P10 brush, which I love, and I'm going to take that and smudge it out. Then I'm going into the Air palette, which has the purples in it, and I'm going to take that sort of iridescent gold, and I'm going to be applying that in the inner corner and brow bone. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks probably really white, but when you look at it like up close, it has like a little bit of gold in it, which I love. With the same blending brush, this is huge. It's the M504 from Morphe. What I'm going to do is jump into the Rosé in the Air palette again from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take this shade, which is like an orange color, and I'm going to just run that in the crease. All in all, I really do like these eyeshadow palettes. I think they're great from what I've tried so far. Obviously, I didn't use all the shades, but they're super buttery and pigmented. I like the concept of it. I mean, I think it's a really great way to have a bunch of shimmers in your collection without having like a ton of makeup because this is literally only four palettes, but you get so many different shimmers in here. And I can imagine that a lot of us have a lot of matte shades in our collection, so I feel like it's not really an issue that there aren't any matte shades in here because these are gorgeous. So these I love. Okay, now for the fun part, we can jump into the highlighters. You guys know I love Wet n Wild highlighters, Precious Petals and Golden Flower Crown are two of my all-time favorites. The first one is called Water and honestly I probably would never use this as a highlighter because you guys know I'm not really into colorful things but I can see myself maybe using this for if I was doing maybe like a Halloween makeup tutorial or something like it's giving me mermaid vibes you know what I mean but like in general I feel like this is a really pretty color as an eyeshadow I think it would be really nice like all over the lid. The next shade we have is Fire and I love this. This shade is literally fire like I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty and you can see that this actually has all the signs engraved in it which I thought was really cute. This is sort of like a really neutral rose gold color. It's the best way for me to describe it. You could even also use this as an eyeshadow if you feel like it's a little too dark for you if you are super fair but I feel like this would be a perfect highlight for people who are tanner medium skin tone. The next shade is Air and this one has more of like a pink undertone to it. I mean nothing crazy. Still super wearable but it's definitely one of those like frosty white pinky highlights so so pretty i would probably most likely use this in the inner corner of my eyes or like the brow bone highlight just to really make that pop and i think this is going to be my favorite this one and fire are probably going to be my favorites this one is called earth and this is just a really gorgeous gold it's a little bit lighter than golden flower crown um i feel like they're very very similar this one does have like that golden champagne tint it might be a little lighter than golden flower crown but they're very, very, very similar. And then we have their loose highlighters. I've actually never tried their loose highlighters. I know that they had another one in one of their other collections. I never got a chance to try that one, but I've watched a couple things on Instagram and this apparently is like amazing and I'm so excited for it. So this is the loose highlighter in the shade written in the stars. And oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Like you could use this on so many different things, like all over your body, again, your eyes. I feel like this would be a really gorgeous sort of like topper if you really want to make your highlight stand out even more, this would be it. So I'm probably gonna use one of the golden bar highlighters and I'm gonna top this loose one over top. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the highlight in the shade Earth, which is like the gold one. And I'm using the Wet n Wild highlighting brush, by the way, in P75. Oh my gosh, like, are you kidding me? That is like perfection. Like, <laughs> this is like better than some high-end highlighters that I have, which is 
crazy. Oh, we are gonna be glowing today. All right, I'm gonna use a different brush. This one is the High Cheekbone Highlighter from Sigma. It's the FO3. And I'm gonna use that loose highlight, which I feel like it's gonna be a little too light for me at the moment, but like I said, it would be like a really nice topper. Oh, ooh, ooh. I think this highlighter would be perfect if you know you're gonna be taking pictures or something, like birthday glam, or you're going out with friends or something. Like, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the glow. I really like everything that I've tried so far. Honestly, I don't have any complaints with any of the products. I'm loving them. All right, so now we can jump into the glosses. I'm not gonna do any lip liner or anything, obviously, so we can see the true pigment on my bare lips. So the first shade I have is in Cancer. They don't seem to really have any, like a strong scent or anything, so, ooh. It looks white in the tube, but it has like pink, purple, like shimmers in it. Do you see that? It's so pretty. For me personally, I'd probably wear this with like something underneath, like a lip liner or a lipstick or a liquid lipstick, but it is really pretty. I feel like, you know, depending on the look that you're doing, this could work. I like it. The next gloss we have is in Pisces. Oh, this is giving me aquamarine vibes all the way. I always talk about that movie. Every time I think of like mermaids, I think of Aquamarine. Like it's such a cute movie. I like how they're smooth. I mean, so far, it doesn't feel like there's any glitter chunks in it, which I love. I love a nice smooth lip gloss and Wet n Wild is amazing with their gloss formula because I love the ones from the Flights of Fancy collection. They're amazing. These are good. They remind me of them. The next color we have is Gemini. Looks like a shimmery gold. Oh my God, these are so pigmented. It looks like I have highlighter on my lips. It's not a bad look. I feel like you need to have something darker underneath, like a darker like nude lip liner. Maybe you could top this right in the center. Probably wouldn't wear this all over my lips. Like it's not ideal because it looks like I have concealer and highlighter on them, but the color is really pretty. Next shade is Aquarius, and this one looks like it has some gold glitter chunks in it, and it's like a baby pink. So I think I'm gonna like this one. Ooh. So pretty. This is like probably the creamiest one so far. I would definitely top this over top of a lipstick or something because it does have slight gold little shimmers in it, but again, it's still a creamy formula, which I love. Oh, this is probably my favorite shade so far. Next color we have is Terrace. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This one's like a brighter pink. Oh, this is another what appears to be a holographic lip gloss. It's pretty. Not a color that I would probably, like, if I'm at the store, am I going to purchase this? Probably not, just because I'm not really into pinks on me personally. I don't really think they flatter me that much, but the color is pretty. The next color we have is Libra. Ooh. This is pretty. I really actually like this one. It's like, again, with the holographic theme, pink, purpley, blue, iridescent tone lip gloss. It's really gorgeous. The next shade is Leo, which looks like a tangerine orange color. Oh wow, it looks more orange in the tube versus when you apply it, it's more pink. This one's very glittery too, but again, it's pretty. I like how it looks a little bit actually more clear than anything. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of like a your lips but better type of color. The next shade is Virgo. Oh wow, you know what this reminds me of? The blue-brown shade that they have in their Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette. This is definitely like a, a blue-brown lip gloss. Next shade we have is Capricorn and this one's another like red. Oh my gosh, this is like a darker color. This is probably one of my least favorites. I honestly just wouldn't go for this color. I would go for definitely the lighter shades of course, but I mean if you're into colors like this and it is a really pigmented gloss. The next shade is Scorpio which is like a purple. Oh my god, this is so incredibly pigmented and opaque. Like. Holy cow. This is definitely not something that, again, I would go for. These colors on me, I just feel like they don't look right at all, but it's a nice purple. If you're maybe looking for a gloss, like for a specific makeup tutorial or something, then I think it could work, but on me, mm -mm. Last but not least is my sign, Aries, which is like a really deep, vampy color. Oh my god. It's like a really dark deep like cherry red. It's a little splotchy so I would definitely use like maybe the same color lipstick underneath and then top this over top but this is really really gorgeous I think for fall. I can definitely see myself wearing this. I feel like even this look right now is like fall vibes but 
this lip gloss I actually really like. All right, guys, so that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Overall, I really love this collection. I think the quality, the formulas are amazing, and I do think that it's definitely worth trying. There were a couple things in there that I wasn't really a huge fan of just because that's me being picky and my personal preference because I don't really like super bold, bright colors. But overall, the quality of everything is super on point. So let me know what you guys think down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful, and I will see you guys in a few days in my next one. Bye.